Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do an unboxing from Coach Outlet's Pride Collection for 2022. You guys know I just did an unboxing on my channel of their retail store Pride Collection. And I really like the items that I got. I was pretty impressed with them. Um, I wanted to compare their outlet drop, so I picked up a couple items. I will say overall, I felt like the outlet pride collection was kind of a letdown. I didn't feel like it was very creative. I felt like it was very repetitive compared to different pride collections I've seen from them in the past. Um, all their leather products in this line are white, um, and that really scares me. I would have loved if they had incorporated black or a darker colored leather also into this collection with the rainbow themes and prints. I think it would have popped just as much and it would have been less intimidating for people. So that I found kind of disappointing. I think the canvas items looked kind of similar in terms of like vibrancy of, qual of color and quality, but we will see shortly if that's true. And I thought the only really cool thing that I didn't pick up was their large backpack option. So if you are a backpack person and you are an LGBT, BTQ plus supporter, a pride lover, or just a lover of rainbow things, definitely go check out the backpack that they had. I thought it looked really cool. I'm just not particularly a backpack person personally. So let me get into this box here and show you what I picked up. All right, so you guys know that the outlet packaging is not quite as impressive as the retail packaging. Just came in a plain box with really no coach branding. So I'm gonna pull, pull out this first item here. It's a smaller item. I picked up two things. Um, that I thought looked the most interesting. And I'll tell you why. So this is a Nolita. And you guys know I love a good Nolita. They are extremely popular. And this is what it looks like. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I don't like this as much as I like the retail product. Um, I think I'm going to do a whole video. I think I'm going to do a whole se separate video um, comparing these because... I think you really need to see them side by side. But if you are looking for a less expensive option, um, go check out their outlet stuff. I'm not saying it's bad quality. It just doesn't quite look as polished maybe, but it's definitely a cost savings, which is a big pro for it. Um, let me check inside here. It just has a couple of card slots. It looks like a brown lining. Um, of course it has the little leather strap here that attaches it so you can carry it as a wristlet or you can just use it as a pouch. I love Nolitas. They hold a lot and since they're more narrow, you can fit them in a lot of different bags. So that's why I wanted to pick this one up. Let me open the other item for you. It is a handbag. I might have to take some time to unwrap this. This is like Fort Knox. Um, they have really done a great job wrapping these. Let me cut away for a second and unwrap this all so you can see it. Wow, that was a lot. So what I picked up is the Terry bag. And the reason I picked this up is because it seemed the most similar to the Swinger, which is the very popular um, retail bag that I just did a review video of on my channel. And this seemed kind of like the outlet version of the Swinger. So it's called the Terry, T-E-R-I. Um, very similar silhouette has these short straps you can carry it on your shoulder a la 90s style which is very in right now and this one of course comes with the spectacular rainbow canvas strap which is a big selling feature for this to get this with this bag i mean this is like a hundred dollar strap probably that comes with this and you could use it on a lot of other things and it's very comfortable and cute if you like rainbow stuff so I don't know. I, I, like I said, I'm not as impressed with the quality of this canvas compared to what I saw from the retail, which makes sense since there's a cost saving. So what I'm going to do is put together a separate video for you guys, comparing them side by side. So you can see the different textures and materials used and judge for yourself if the cost savings of purchasing from the outlet is worth it. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you've not hit the like button yet and you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know to do more unboxings on my channel. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please check it. I know there's so many people that watch my channel that turns out they're not subscribed and it just keeps popping up on their suggested videos. Hit the subscribe button so you know when I post stuff and hit the little bell so that you're notified when I post the follow-up video to this. If you're interested, I'm going to try to post it in the next couple of days. I'm going to try to turn it around pretty quickly so that if you guys are trying to make an informed decision about if you should purchase your Coach Pride items from the outlet or the retail, you'll know what to do. 
And as always, thank you so much for your support, guys. I truly appreciate it. You have no idea how much work I put into this channel. And I love that you guys are such wonderful fans. So really appreciate it as always. And I hope to see you on my next one. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.